Hello, we have one more rule to learn before we conclude these uh, sets of rules for polynomial functions. Let's look at how to how we can derivate a quotient. There are basically uh, two ways you can approach this uh, uh, differentiation uh, process for quotients. But when you have a quotient such as this, q of x, which equals to f of x over g of x, provided g of x is uh, different than zero, you can approach it this way. First, express this q of x as a product. Differentiate the resulting expression uh, using those product and chain rules as applies, and then simplify the result and bring the exponents all to be positive. It's just a nicer form, it's not really a requirement. Some people may impose this, some not so much. But simplification is necessary. In order to differentiate a simple quotient function, you can use this method. So a function q of x given in this form f of x over g of x, both numerator and denominator uh, being uh, differentiable functions, take that denominator g of x and put it in the numerator with the power negative 1. So we don't change anything, basically. However, we change it from a quotient to a product. Now that we have a product, we know how to calculate the derivative of q of x. Derivative of q of x is going to be derivative of f of x times g of x at power minus 1 remains unchanged, plus f of x now remains unchanged, multiplied by derivative of this second uh, term, which is going to be the power of a function. We just learned that in the chain rule lesson. So this is going to be negative 1, the power, times g of x at power n minus 1, remember, which is minus 1 minus 1, that's why you see minus 2, multiply by derivative of g of x. So this is your product rule, nothing else. You also have a quotient rule. Have a look at the derivative ddx of a quotient, which is f of x over g of x, consider the numerator and denominator to be those two separate functions, then the result is going to be the derivative of numerator times the denominator unchanged minus the numerator f of x times derivative of the denominator and everything divided by g of x denominator at power 2. And this is your quotient rule. With this, we conclude the lesson. Thanks for watching.